Here is an interesting uh, question that I got from Presh Talwalker on Mind Your Decisions. It's a YouTube channel. His solution was a bit different than mine. In fact, I did this one in my head. Um, sometimes I get them, I'll stare at them for a little bit, and then I'll let my subconscious go to work. And uh, no kidding, <laughs> last night, uh, believe it or not, I was taking a shower and it came to me. So here we go. We have a square inscribed in a quarter quadrant of a circle. The radius of that circle is equal to one. What is the area of the square? So you guys go ahead and stop the video right now if you want and see if you can work that out. Um, there is an actual answer. And we'll go ahead and get that solution to you right now. Okay, so by now you guys should have probably come up with something. Here's the solution I came with uh, up with. What I did is I extended the circle and I went ahead and projected the fact that this square can't sit in any other place and still maintain contact the, uh, the two right angles against the arc and the two right angles against the y and the x-axis. So um, I happen to know that that makes 45, 45, 90 triangle and that will extend this square three times across to get to the other side. And then all I did, all I did was go ahead and draw the diameter across from the corner of one square to the corner of the other. And that gives me a diameter of two. And now I have a simple Pythagorean theory going here. I have the leg that I determined to be x. And of course, three lengths of that square are 3x and my diameter of 2. So uh, all I did was say x squared plus 3x quantity squared equals 2 squared. So that gives me x squared plus 9x squared equals 4. And I go ahead and factor out the x that gives, well I add them essentially that's all I have to do. Now I have 10 x squared equals 4 divide by 10 and reduce the fraction so x squared equals two-fifths and that's your answer since i wanted the area that is x squared so quote eric demonstrandum on that kind of interesting too just a little side note here if you take the area of five of those squares so three across and then the other two that you can fit inside the circle um, in quadrants two and four uh, if you take the actual square root of five halves, which was the area, you're going to come out with, a, I believe, 0.632. If you take the area of those squares and you divide it by the area of that circle, which will be pi, literally 3.14, you'll come out with the same 0 0.632. So I hope you like this puzzle. It was fun. And like I said, um, they're kind of even cooler when you can actually do all this in your head. So we'll talk to you guys on the next one. You have a great one. Uh, like, subscribe, share, send this to some friends um, who like geometry and or maths. Uh, and we'll talk soon again. Bye.